Right. Men working within the mainstream media don't ridicule women. They won't go there. They're terrified of them. And I'm going to say something that I know loads of you have heard me say before, but it's worth saying again and again and again. The media is only comprised of two breeds of creature, man-hating women and the males who won't stand up to them. Now, males, as you know, won't tell jokes about women on them in the media. Women, on the other hand, they have no hesitation about making the most degrading, denigrating, disgusting comments about men that they can think of. I'm thinking of that, that uh, creature that's married to Ozzy Osbourne, Sharon Osbourne. Yeah, that's right. She mentioned on some all women uh, program that she was hosting. She was talking about uh, a, a, a woman who chopped off her husband's penis, put it in a blender, destroyed it completely, and she said, said she thought it was fantastic or hilarious. Fabulous. That's the word she used, fabulous. And she said that she would have put it, the penis, in a dog bowl. And she can get away with that. I want to explain to you why. Women cannot be emasculated by men. Let's say, for example, I was on a TV program doing an interview with some bitch because it would be a bitch. If she works in TV and she's female, she's a bitch. And I start putting it down. I start using humour and I put it down. I make him look more and more ridiculous and more weak, more pathetic, more useless by the second. And I hammer on the bitch. I don't leave her alone. I just continue. I persecute her ears, uh, you know, like a lunatic. And in the end, she starts losing it. Her voice starts to quaver. She starts to lose it. And then tears start to well up in her eyes. And she goes red in the face with embarrassment. Now, all of a sudden, most of the guys at home who at that, to that point were on my side because I was talking the truth, which believe me, I would be. All of a sudden, they will turn. They can't override their instinct with their intellect. They're, they will instinctively protect her because she's a female and she's valuable to the tribe, far more valuable than the male. A male can impregnate numerous females, but the females are so valuable. But in an overcrowded world today, no. No, thank you very much. This no longer counts. But males will still go with their instinct. You can't emasculate a woman. On the other hand, you get these women continually berating men, getting away with it. They're not getting, and I've never slapped a woman. I'd never want to see someone slap a woman. I, I'm a non-violent person, but they say the most degrading, disgusting things, often to their male colleagues on TV. But there's the opposite of you not being able to emasculate a woman. You can emasculate a man. You sure, a man. You sure as hell can do that. He, the smaller he looks, and the smaller he, he looks, and she keeps on, in the end, he bursts into tears and, and just gives in because he can't take the pressure and the insults anymore. Everyone is embarrassed, universally, males and females alike. Wouldn't happen with a woman bursting into tears, with a man putting her under pressure. Everyone would hate on the man, defend the woman, apart from people like me, obviously, who can use our intellect to override our instinct but the opposite way round it can't happen we all feel embarrassed the man's crying the woman's beaten the shit out of him verbally she's humiliated him his career is finished she isn't going to have to apologize or resign or come under any kind of pressure he's the one going to come under pressure as a fucking wimp i'm not quite sure why i'm making this point to you today guys but i am nevertheless and it's something that I'd like you to think about because it's about time we start, stopped ignoring. We, we started to ignore these norms and started calling women out, treating them in exactly the same manner. And if they're horrible to their male colleagues, treat them like shit. Thank you.